Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be talking about She-Hulk uh, It's kind of like a mini guide slash champion card video slash how good are they in 2020 video uh, So let's get on with it. I should say this that even though her abilities themselves are pretty easy She is a really difficult character to master and I've recently ranked her up and uh, I'm not that good with her uh, like you have to be in order to get the most out of her you have to be pretty aggressive and uh, Like really good at intercepting really good at uh, punishing heavy attacks with your heavy attack uh, or Punishing special attacks with your heavy attack like in this fight. It doesn't matter uh, uh, Like Red Hulk doesn't get unstoppable or he doesn't evade so we don't really need uh, the slow debuff, but in ideal situations uh, you should be pretty good at uh, doing that kind of stuff uh, so in the hands of players like MSD, She-Hulk is pretty insane uh, But she does need some getting used to uh, So uh, talking about her abilities as you have probably noticed by now if you don't already know that she is doing a lot more damage right now uh, She has 13 furies and uh, Like Red Hulk, he's pretty tanky with his heat charges. There's a lot of physical resistance as well but we are doing some really solid damage and uh, as the video goes on this is going to be get quicker and quicker like we will solo this red hulk then solo this old man logan and then have some other fights as well and it's all in a seven and a half minute video with intro and outro and i haven't sped up anything so uh, that should give you an idea how quickly this fight is going to be over from this point we have 22 furies so the work uh, the way these furies work is that um, like you have a percentage chance of getting them uh, when you are hitting the opponent or you are getting hit uh, additionally on special attacks you get them as well so uh, whenever the opponent uses a special attack they refresh uh, it's easier to do against aggressive AI like labyrinth and abyss but even then it can get incredibly stressful like you build up 30 40 furies then lose them all and it does happen uh, and it is a bit like Star Lord um, and She Hulk are comparable characters. Although She Hulk has a lot more utility, but if we talk strictly about damage, they are pretty comparable, I'd say. Uh, and there are pros and cons. With She Hulk, it's a little bit luck. Uh, on the other hand, with Star Lord, it's more uh, skill based. Like if you have your combo, then you, you should be good. Although in stuff like Labyrinth with the uh, Evade, that could also come down to luck. Uh, but that's a good thing with She-Hulk. Like uh, in towards the end of this video, which, uh, to end of this fight, we are going to mess up, take some hits. If that would have been a Star Lord, we would have been in problem. Like we had to build the combo all over again. But because like here, uh, it doesn't matter. But he did throw the special, so we uh, refresh the timer of the Furies. So it's all good. Uh, so those are the pros and cons of uh, She-Hulk and the Fury and the damage that is why she is really good for Labyrinth Really good for a uh, decent replacement I'd say for uh, Abyss uh, If you don't have an Aegon, uh, she is pretty useful there with the slow and the stuff as well So there were, that was a 63, uh, 63k uh, uh, SP1, the second part of it, uh, it for some, I think Assassins because of that it um, Across the uh, limit of uh, labyrinth. Uh, the anyway, so here we're going to uh, do the same thing basically against uh, Old Man Logan. And uh, now I should talk about some of her utility. Uh, so there is some utility uh, related to the Furies. Yeah, so whenever like you have Fury, you have it basically acts as a taunt. If you are Stark and I'm Spider-Man player, you may know how that works. It uh, means that we have pretty decent chance uh, like when you're playing She-Hulk and stuff like Abyss or uh, like Labyrinth you end up getting a lot of Furies uh, that's a really powerful taunt but even in stuff like Lance Wars you can uh, easily get 3, 4, 5 Furies and that's a decent enough taunt and uh, you can potentially use her in all or nothing fights is she the best option there? not really like you're better off using power control characters like Doctor Doom, Magic uh, characters like that or like uh, ghost with the hood synergy so you just you can just tank all the specials 
but she is an option there as well and taunt uh, it can be really useful especially because of her abilities uh, there if it's really close uh, so once you get a pretty decent amount of furies it gets easier to maintain them which is nice uh, it, it is by no means a guarantee like you saw there uh, we were at 18 fury and were about to lose them all a few tips regarding maintaining the furies um, it's weird she hulk like you have to be a little aggressive with her but at the same time you don't you need you need to give the opponent some time uh, to you know abate the special like uh, you don't you shouldn't like always stun them and then four five hits then stun again then four five hits uh, and baiting the special is a very huge part of playing she hulk effectively because otherwise her damage is pretty it's I'd say below average without any furies. She is also poison immune and she does have some uh, other utility as well with the SP2 Petrify. Is it the best Petrify? Not really. Uh, like Void, Captain America Infinity War and a lot of characters are better at uh, like reversing regeneration. But she like if you don't have them, She-Hulk is an option. Uh, additionally, she also has slow on her heavy attack which is by far the most useful like here you're seeing that we are re uh, reversing old man's slogan regeneration it's not a very strong regeneration to begin with but uh, yeah on the heavy attack we do have slow which counters unstoppable and evade uh, we're going to take a look at how that works against the thing uh, and uh, uh, other than that uh, like she has a stun on the sp3 pretty useful sometimes uh, and uh, if you have her awakened she has some different stuff going on for her against different matchups like against mystic she gives them less power against cosmic uh, the more buffs they have the more damage you'll do against science you have a pretty good chance to shrug off debuffs so uh, against skill uh, i don't think like it's not a good idea to use her against skill characters where she has class disadvantage but that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching have a nice day this is the card and subscribe to the channel for more content stay safe bye bye